Hello again, and I uh, wanted to give an update on my aquaponic outdoor garden. I figure it's been a uh, few weeks or so, if not a month, and I uh, wanted to show you the progress. So first let's take a look at the pond. I don't know how the clarity is, but as far as the video is concerned, but uh, there is about 30 or 40 fish in here, mostly full-size tilapia, and uh, a few bluegills. There's a crate over there. I put the uh, water pump on top of it. That way if any of the beds leak, the uh, pump will dry out and probably burn out, but at least there'll be water left in the, uh, in the pond and uh, the fish won't die, because that's my biggest investment. Uh, the pump's not that expensive. I got some lilies growing here. I'm pretty sure the tilapia will eat them up, but we'll see. Don't know if you can see the fish. I have to look at that when I review the tape. So here's my exhaust for the beds. We're going rather full for force. Uh, I'll show you what what's going on there. So here's the first bed, and uh, I figured out that the uh, bell siphons were floating. Therefore, I had to put a rock on top of each one. That kept it from floating up and misfiring or not working at all. So. Ever since then, we've had good, uh, good drainage. They've been working like they're supposed to. The uh, overflows haven't been used, which is a good thing. And I check them occasionally for leaks. I'm using uh, this Flex PVC wherever I can, since it's it's pretty durable and uh, it's not it's more forgiving than regular PVC pipe. Anyway, as you can see, this is the pipe that goes from all the way from the pump in the pond to each one of the beds. I have a valve on each one to regulate flow. Next bed, same thing. I haven't really seeded these yet. I'm still just trying to get a uh, uh, most of the beds just functional. This bed I've put a quite a few things, mostly just herbs, ice plants, and uh, just a few things I found around the, uh, the house. And uh, we'll see if they take off. So far they're barely making it. This bed I've seeded with a few things but uh, well, we'll see if uh, how they turn out. I measured the ammonia and the nitrates today and there's no ammonia which is a good thing but there's no nitrates either so which leads me to believe that there's probably a good amount of nitrites. I haven't tested for those yet either but I'm hoping that's the case in which case it'll be another week or so before the nitrates start to climb and that would be a good thing. As you can see there's some, uh, I moved some of my gravel from the indoor unit it was full of uh, rotting roots and lots and lots of worms so I'm hoping to populate each of the beds with these worms. So that's basically about it as far as uh, what I've done. I made this little thing to prevent any of the electrical from uh, getting wet. Just a uh, tub on top of another tub. Seemed to do the trick. Last time we had a thunderstorm out here, uh, nothing got wet. That's a good thing. Obviously one day I'll get an electrician come out here. I also did something else. I made a net. Let's see if I can operate this with the camera as well. Ugh. Yeah, looks like looks good. So the net keeps uh, birds, animals. We have a lot of cats around here. We'd probably love to have a treat. And uh, I'm making sure they don't get any of the uh, fish. Plus the tilapia, we've lost several from jumpers, jumping to their death. Apparently anything is Suicide is much better than staying in my pond, I don't know. But, uh, so I wanted to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So, that's about it. I'm hoping in another couple weeks that all the beds will be fully operational. We'll have them seated, and then I'll get started on the, um, greenhouse. And, uh, I've got 25, uh, metal barrels coming. And they're going to be right in back there. And that'll be the north side stacked one on top of each other, um, too high. 
they're black, so they're going to be uh, thermal batteries, solar thermal batteries when winter comes. Obviously, it's all going to be enclosed in the greenhouse. And behind them, I'm going to probably put hay as an uh, insulation. It's cheaper than uh, going the real route of getting real insulation from Home Depot or whatnot. So, that's about it. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions. Um, I'll see what I can do. Thanks.